welcome to Colwich Junction. As ever, thanks for taking the time out to watch this video. And for those of you who have subscribed to the channel, again, thanks. I really appreciate that. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, why not? Uh, click on the button and um, catch up with all the latest um, goings on here at uh, Colwich. Um, and a few little live clips like that wonderful soundtrack at the start of the video. I don't think you can uh, beat the sound of a 37. I could hear those coming from quite a way off. I've seemed to have really struggled to get any consistent time up here in the loft in the last few weeks. Um, but looking at these videos which I shot a couple of days back, there seems to have been quite a lot going on. I took delivery of these lovely Hornby um, network rail coaches. We looked great being hauled behind one of the 68s. And one of the things I'm quite pleased with is the Metcalf retaining walls which are hardly recognisable from how they were when they were initially built. But it's trial and error just to see how things work out and so far I'm fairly pleased. So there's a little bit of graffiti gone onto the walls there and a little bit of handwritten stuff which I think um, I quite like it now. I wasn't too sure whether to put any on or not. Um, going to the top here on the bridge um, you can see that we're going to have a uh, disused line which has been fenced off and there'll be plenty of undergrowth and stuff added to that to make it look a bit more realistic. Um, some of the bits of sprue if you like from the um, scale model scenery cantinery kits have been um, sawn down and made into capping stones there. They, they don't look too bad, they need weathering down again. Um, and obviously a bit of ballasting's gone on as well. I forgot to mention the ballasting, yeah. Mm, that's um, always a favourite job. Um, the spare bits of walling off the top of the initial Metcalf kits are there in the background. Um, there's going to be a low retaining wall along that side. Uh, also in this shot is um, some of the Pico overhead cabling. I think that's a lot more pliable than some of the Dapol stuff. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to continue using that. That was... I've picked up some tips from people on um, on the internet, so yeah, I quite like the Pico stuff. This is the uh, other side of the layout where you can see the cabling's laid. Um, it's as far as the tracks have come so far. Um, it's a bit of a storage area at the moment, and there's plenty of uh, plenty of the um, overheads there and bits and bobs lying around. Um, but yes, you get a little bit of an idea um, what's around the corner from the initial um, the initial um, TMD area. So we're behind the scenes now. This is the fiddle yard, which is um, further to the left. <clears throat> you can just about see Colwich Junction TMD way off up in the distance there on the right-hand side. Um, these backboards are removable for um, ease of access, because obviously if I get any derailments or um, mishaps behind there in the fiddle yard, that it's quite difficult to get to if these boards weren't removable. Um, and I'm going to leave them blank for the time being. I, I don't know whether I'm going to put any back scenes on there or not. Well, seeing as this has turned into a um, layout to a video, I'll just give you a quick look at some of the electrics. There's nothing fancy, nothing uh, super high-tech here. It's all very simple and very hands-on. These um, Hornby switches, um, I really had a, a yearning to use some of these because I used to have um, them on my very first layout, which I think was Triangle way back in the 70s, I think. Um, they control the surface-mounted point motors on the fiddle yard, which is behind the back scene. Um, they doubled up so you'll be able to control each side in with one throw of a switch. Not convinced that they're that good, the switches, to be honest with you. I prefer the toggles. We're just going to move straight up onto the top there and you can see the little um, test track. This I might enclose inside the hillside because I'm going to build um, some scenery on here, obviously, because this is it's just going to basically be a scenic side of the layout with the tunnel, as you can see. Um, We'll, we'll wait and see on that one. Uh, I'm just going to flick round now to Colwich TMD. Um, again, the toggle switches seem to be a much more reliable than those Hornby things. Um, and there you can see they're just underneath a little panel. Nice and easy access. So, um, yeah, it's going to require me keeping an eye on what's moving on top and how the points are looking. Um, I'm sure I can add some LEDs to tell me what's going on at a later date, but for the time being I'm, I'm quite happy with the way it's going. So 
So if you've watched a couple of my videos, you may have noticed the um, the TMD shed lurking around on a few of the uh, shots. So I thought I'd give you a quick look at it. It's um, by foreground models, I think, if I'm correct. Um, it it's it's a pre-coloured kit, um, which might put some people off, but I actually quite like that idea. Um, it's basically just going to need me to do a bit of weathering. It was it was good fun to build it. Um, as you can see, your edges like this aren't really finished too well, so that's what the plaster struts for um, to make some boards to finish off where the roof meets the walls and at the ends here as well. Um, and then obviously I can add some drain pipes and things like that. Um, it seems to accept weathering powders quite well. I've only tried little test areas. Inside again is really well detailed, um, so with a bit of clutter and a few toolboxes and oil cans in there. I'm sure that will look great once it's uh, once it's in situ. Um, I haven't decided exactly on its final position, um, but I'm really really impressed with this for the money as well. It's quite quite a good kit. The doors obviously um, are all working as well, although the far end probably won't be open that often because they'll be they'll be up against the um, the walling. Um, we've also been uh, knocking together some of these Pico inspection pits um, which will go in at some point roughly where you can see them now um, alongside the uh, fencing but again this is all still still work in progress Well, if you're still here, thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed what you've seen. Um, I certainly enjoyed making the videos and um, putting it all together. Um, but I think I've rambled on long enough now. Um, so I'll see you next time at Colwich Junction. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, tell me it's rubbish, just anything really. Um, your feedback is, is always appreciated. Um, and I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.